one was invited. You know, some of us, our positions are known before you are invited. Therefore, I think specific individuals were being invited because it was a political conspiracy at status. And those people could not even have the heart of releasing the names of senators who went there, even releasing pictures. And therefore, what I can say from where I stand, it is an illegality from the word go up initial. And therefore, senators who participated, I have talked to several of colleagues, there were even choppers that were being dispatched across the, the other part of the country. It was a way of coercing leaders. And I remember even the nominated senators were being intimidated to, 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 to participate in the signatures. I am aware of a number of nominated senators that were being told, if you don't hold the line, we will ensure that the Jubilee, courtesy of Secretary General of Jubilee, that you lose your nominated seat. That nominations do not belong to individuals. They belong to the parties. Therefore, there was no... Because, the, by the way, the standard procedure of convening a party meeting, and Kenyans should know this, one, you are invited and your agenda is being told. The people who receive SMSs, there was no agenda. Any party, either a national executive council, <coughs> national delegates conference, any co convening of the party, there must be a process of ensuring that when they invite you, they give you an agenda, which was never done. So from the word go, it was a political conspiracy and a political conmanship from the word go, in a name to fight a few individuals because of their their loyalty to the deputy president. And I think that is the casualties that they have suffered today. Why do you want Tuji to leave? No, of course, he has not performed as expected. As a secretary general, he should have uh, given us by now you know he's supposed to convene meetings provided by the law, number one. Number two, he has never given the country the breakdown on the expenses of Jubilee Party. You remember Jubilee Party, just like other political parties, are being funded by government, number one. Number two, he has never called any conference to tell us how many money the accounts, we pay 10,000 shillings. But we have realized where our 10,000 shillings and the taxpayers' money go. It normally goes to planning on how to finish some of us. So therefore, he has abdicated his responsibility, he has insubordinated. We remember, unfortunately, a few, few months back, he had an accident. We thought he was still even recovering. We are shocked that he has become now, he has regained his motion of, of his health until now he's planning on how to finish some of us who are praying for hard for him to, to get well. I hope uh, all these people will be well up to 2022 to see God's miracle. What next for your team? Uh, what so I can say, another party. What no, 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 go to? no, no, what I can say, Jubilee is not an option, it is a hope. All of us build Jubilee. We are in Jubilee not by default nor by design. We are by Jubilee because we love Jubilee. We form Jubilee more parties. We wanted to form a national outfit that is devoid of negative ethnicity, devoid of regional issues, devoid of uh, tribalism, devoid of religion and any other form of culture. We wanted a party that would represent the face of Kenya. And that was the intention of formation of Jubilee. For us who are in Jubilee, we have more stakes. And that is why we are wondering, wale watu wa wana ngombe, ndiyo sasa wanataka kuwa chairman ya dip. Haiwezekani. Sisi ambao ni wenye ngombe, ndiyo tutaamua nani ndiyo chairman ya dip ya kuosha ngombe yetu. Na ndiyo mana atutoki Jubilee kwa sababu naweza torokaje kwa Bibi ula ameolewa ndiyo anatoroka kuenda kwa umuaisi kia mwanauma anatoroka kia Afrika. Anatoroka kwake. Atuwezi sisi tuko kwa jubilii. Wala ambao anataka kutoka kufanya kwa alisho nuko wanaeza waunda chama ya watoke. Lakini jubilii is our option number one, number two and number three. And we are not going anywhere until Jesus Christ come back for the second time. We are headed to the parliament and uh, there is likelihood that Imani Chungwa and Ben Washali will go. Eh, that I, one. I never knew. As that... <laughs> <laughs> as at now, what I can say as at now, um, we are waiting, we are telling them, bring it on, baby. We are just waiting, we are saying, come, baby, come. Because we, we know what to do in, in national assembly. And that is why I'm telling my colleagues in the national assembly, fear not. The Bible even encourages us. Fear not. Those who kill the, the, the body. But fear those who kill the body, the soul, and the spirit. And therefore, I am telling them, we are not going anywhere. They can come for over. And that is why I'm telling the president, come for all of us. What are you still waiting? Then you cannot go back to Wao <coughs> governing the country. Because this country is now ungovernable. The constitution has been suspended. The country is being ruled through degree. You can see the ruling was made in the morning. Everybody ignores the law. 
Let us follow the law. The constitution is in place. Aye, you imagine.